or all three, but not at that point. At that point, to me, the most important, from the time I was 10 years old, from the time I saw a documentary in high school about America, it was a black and white documentary. It was almost kind of like a news footage, old news footage. Uh, Fox turned in the Wochenschau, they had it in the old days, right? Uh, so it looked kind of like that, but that's where I always saw those high rises in, in America. And they saw those huge cars, and they saw the freeways, the six lane freeways, and they saw the you know, Empire State Building and the Golden Gate Bridge, and they saw Muscle Beach and Hollywood, and all of those things. I said to myself, what am I doing here? I'm in the wrong place. I have been misplaced. <laughs> You know, I think that they should have grown up in America. Of course, the reality is it was good that they grew up in Austria because it created the desire, but I'm glad that they then eventually went to America. So I always wanted to go to America, but I figured out when I got into bodybuilding, this could be my ticket to America. And uh, I said, I said, this is really great because a bodybuilding is not a German sport, not an Austrian sport, it's an American sport. And so I felt like this is what could get me over there. So going to America was very, very important. And of course, becoming the world champion in bodybuilding. But not just a world champion, but I wanted to become the greatest bodybuilder of all time. So I had tremendous desire. I never wanted to be just, you know, what anyone else has done. Yeah. I always wanted to go beyond that. And so to me, the goal was to be like a Reg Park, but to win more Mr. Universe titles and to really create a Schwarzenegger era. And that, that was kind of my vision. And then later on, when I was retired from bodybuilding, then I became obsessed with this other goal that Reg Park uh, that accomplished, which is to get into movies. And so that became my new, new obsession. All right, okay, so um, if 